Yeah, a G, a G, a G, yeah. Hey, in the words of Pimp C, pimping ain't dead. It just moves to the internet. All right? Uh, just understand that. And we pimping this right, content man. right now. You know what I'm saying? You uh, listen to DJ B and Finny Review. What episode is this? Episode 232, baby. Episode right. 232, man. Right. We That's out right. here, man. Coming up, man. We got a football recap. We got NFL Week 4 recap. And Week 5 Savage Picks, man. You know how we do. This is the JB and Benny Blue, man. I am the one and only JB and my boy. Uh, on the other side of the screen is that man, Benny Blue, man. Hit us up on our personal uh, social medias. Um, oh, sorry. Not our personal, but our podcast social media. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be at JB and Benny Blue on all social media platforms. Yes, including TikTok. You might see Benny do a couple of TikTok dances on there. All right, hop on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Subscribe. Like us. Love us. Tell your friends about us. Now, we appreciate all that. All right. Please, and of please, course, you please. know what I'm saying? Hit us up on our personal Instagrams, of course, SS at 73 King JB73, and of course at Benny Blue Eyes. Uh, disclaimer: I might change mine to the Megalodon or something. I know we're waiting. The people are waiting. The, I'm the big fish. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, it's just what it is, right? Shout out to Ice Cube, man. When we say that, man. But outside of that, man, you can check us out here in the desert, man. All right, CastleSports.com live streaming right here in the desert with our side. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Valley of the Sun, man. Shout out to the Suns. You know, NBA basketball is back, man. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? We right here. We're almost at that mesh point, right? Uh, You Mm -hmm. still want to hear our melodious voices. You know what I'm saying? You can subscribe to, uh, for one dollar, one dollar, a whole dollar, all right? Patreon.com slash JB and Benny Blue. All right, you subscribe to OnlyFans and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at this pissy girl's feet and all that. <laughs> hey, you can check us out. We know you rock with us, man. So just rock with us. Continue to do yes. that, man. Please, yeah, you know I mean, please, please. Call the fans. You know what I'm saying? Get ten percent off your Burger King all day unisex shirts using code BG. All right, at checkout. You know what I'm saying? At JB and Benny Blue Review dot com slash store. All right, now we got different merchandise on there for sure, but. Right now, we're running that special on, that BG. on those Bird Gang all day unisex shirts, man. So check that out for show for show. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Look, sponsorship, interviews, new music, hate mail, love mail. It don't matter, right? Love mail. Goddamn. Hey, man. Sometimes you got to show us love, <laughs> bro. We, we need love just like we need hate. It's all love. All right. Mm-hmm. JB and Billy Review at gmail.com. Benny checks that thing periodically, man. Make sure you hit us up. You think you want to be on our show? We got a couple special things coming up, man. One of my boys hit me up, man, uh, about some real cool shit he's doing. Uh, ben, I know you got the DM. You yes. got to be going back and forth with him. So that's something place. that's going to be coming up, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So keep your, keep your ears peeled for that and your eyes peeled for that. But that's yes, how we're doing it, man. Episode 232 of the that's JB right. and Benny Blue. You are that's here. Right. We are here. Man, let's get this thing going, man. Yeah, and Dr. Bridges, we got a lot, of, a lot to get into. We have, oh, he's a certified expert, and you'll see why, question mark. We're going to do some college football recap and predictions, and of course, uh, some NFL recap, week four and week five, Savage Picks. Amen. But let's pay a couple bills here real quick with our patented sponsors. Of course, you see the goddamn shirt. Yeah, Valleyboyassociation.com. Go to Valleyboyassociation.com and use Shout code to the Valley Boys, man. 22. They're making moves. I see in the Instagram. Look, I was about to say, the, the, boys, the boys out there doing great things, man, you know what I'm saying so uh get with yes. a man go to that valleyboysassociation.com and of course like benny said use the code podcast 22 for 20 percent off your entire yes. order at checkout right rock exactly. with our boys man exactly and of course that's our guide soon to buy.com get that new pre-owned vehicle text review to 515-444-7003 or dm him at it's tim to buy and tim will get you into the car of your dreams nationwide no matter where you're at and of course if you tap in a live stream facebook twitter instagram youtube drop a comment or question and i swear on my unborn children, we will get to that shit. All right, we will go over that no shit. Doubt. No doubt. But without further ado, man, we got to get into it. Apparently, he's an expert. He hasn't been on in a couple, couple years, but he's our guy. Uh, he he's my brother from another. He now is back in God's country, in SEC country, um, and he is affectionately known around these parts as the special college football correspondent we got to give it up right now for our guy and yours mr mark Darian. he is here and he is the resident expert oh my god he's the guy he's He's the guy finally getting some recognition you know he's the guy so mark i have to ask you where you at right now i'm in tennessee nash Vegas, Tennessee. Nash, Nash, Vegas. Vegas, Tennessee. I'll stand in my so I so I just so you know, heads up, I'll be close to you. I'll be in Jackson uh around oh, okay. the fourth of no well, I, I gotta make I gotta make sure I check the dates. Cause in the on the fourth of November we're getting inducted to the Southern Miss Hall of Fame flex. Uh and outside of that, you know what I'm saying? I think my sister and her her husband have an anniversary coming up. They're like twenty six year anniversary, some shit like that. But I'll be in Jackson, Tennessee for at least two days, all right? 
Okay. You know well, so we might need to get together and drink a beer. Away. Yeah, let's hey, do look, it. Look, let me tell you something. All right, Mark, you we'll family. To, right, so, wait, now Lambooth? Lambooth College in there? there? Lambooth? Yeah, I, I think there is Lambooth. Yeah. So yeah. check this out. You family now. So if I shoot you, I shoot you a location, I shoot you a, a pen, yep. just show up. All right. I good food, car. good drink, and we yeah. in there. All right. I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting. There it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, Jackson. Now I, I needed people in Jackson. I didn't. I got people in Knoxville, and I got people in. Clarksville. Yeah. I'm so, all, you know what? I'm saying Ville, though. Yeah. I gotta say Vol. Vol, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's yeah. Vol so down it's there. Vol. Vol. It ain't, it ain't Nashville, Vol. Nashville, yeah. Knoxville, Nashville. Yeah, yeah, all the Vols, 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 right? All, all the Vols. Vols and, yeah, ain't no Vills, you know what I'm saying? There's the no Vills. And I mean, but see, I, I, I went to school in Gainesville, Florida. Yeah. And we say Ville. Yeah, of course, yeah. the Ville. Us, the us Yankees in Florida, we say Ville. Oh, my God. There you go. Shout out to the Yankees. Well, Mark. Well, Mark. Best thing, offensive Mark, player in the game right now. Yes. Uh, they're, they're, they're all rise, the judge. <laughs> but Mark, uh, what I can tell you on this particular segment of, of our particular show is we ain't going to be spending no time on the Volunteers, and we ain't going to spend yeah. much time on them bum ass Gators. Ooh, no, the unranked Gators. Ooh, we, buddy. Uh, but Mark, I do hear we have pretenders coming up, and I got a pretender coming up. Oh, all right. Uh -oh. Before before we get to all that, you know, you know, just just like in your own life, Mark, you've realigned yourself. You've realigned your family. You're in Florida. Then you were in LA making moves, and now you're in Tennessee. Mm. So Tennessee, the, conference, yeah. the conference realignment, uh, which mm -hmm. we have not talked about since the last time you were on, USC, UCLA are going to the Big Ten in uh, 2024. So now I officially live in Big Ten country. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 degrees every day. Pow, 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 pow. Right? Maybe you should good. ask Newsom about that. Yeah. Oh, no. my God. Okay. <laughs> I know your, I know your hey, fellow man. Michigan. I know your fellow Michigan, your fellow block Emmers, you know what I'm saying? I'm very jealous of you, sir. Yeah. yeah, man. So, hey, we're, we're living up here in Big Ten country. And then the flip side, I think in 2024 as well, or maybe 26, I'm not quite sure. You had Oklahoma, Texas going to the SEC. I think that's a bad move. But, Mark, you're the resident expert. What, yes. is, what is your opinion on the future of the uh, Big Ten, SEC, and the Big 12? And I didn't put it in there, but we'll say the Pac-12. Just the, the, main, the main power conferences that are, that are shifting around like music chairs. Well, from what I understand, the Pac-12 won't be around. Uh, mm. I mean, it's, it, 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 I, I do believe that the Big Ten will have to add more. So look for Oregon, uh, perhaps Washington to go there. And then you'll see Utah go to the Big 12. Uh, along with UCF. Um, but, you know, when it comes to the SEC alignment, you know, 16 teams, these mega conferences are going to be the norm. There's going to be, you know, 20 teams. They're, they're talking 20 teams in the SEC. So who are the other two, who other four are, I don't know yet. Uh, but they're talking, you know, 20 teams in the Big Ten, and then as many as 20 teams in the Big 12, and there won't be a Pac-12. Because the Pac-12 doesn't even make any money anyways, and you know, for some reason, USC, UCLA playing these uh, 11 o'clock games to them. I mean, that's the disaster waiting to happen because these kids don't play very well at 11 o'clock. But that, that's going to be 9 a.m. to them. So, right. I mean, I guess we're now finally getting to the fact that college is turning into the preps. And essentially what's going to happen is you're going to have two conferences. I guess here we'll have maybe three. Uh, well, the, uh, we, let's not forget about the ACC. Yeah, I, see, I, was, I, was, Power yeah. Four, right? I, I was about to say I the keep, ACC is the I next I keep move, forgetting right? about the ACC. It, you know why? Because no one's making any moves there. You know, Notre Dame's going to leave the ACC. They've been playing in the ACC. They're not going to play there. They're going to stay independent, uh, and they'll play more Big Ten teams now, but they'll also play more SEC teams now. Um, but you'll see, you'll see the SEC continue to dominate, and, and maybe – like never before because it's already started happening where California kids are coming to SEC country. Mm. Cause you look at Bryce young, you know, he was the best quarterback in the entire Cal Poly. Cal Poly. No, he played a uh, modern day modern. For modern day in uh South in, in yeah. In, out in, um, he's from Pasadena, but right. he would travel to modern day. And I watched him play. I watched him and DJ. You will go along. Yeah. Yeah. One uh, of those. Yeah. Clemson, uh, yeah. One of those. Yeah. One of those. Yeah. I, I watched them play two years in a row when I lived out in Los Angeles. Uh, and they were the two best players that I saw hands down. And here they are still on the college football stage. Uh, and yeah, it, it, they're California kids and they came all the way East. All these California kids are coming east. All these well, West Mark, Coast kids are Mark, one east. thing, one thing that me and Benny have talked about on the show in previous episodes, and I've said it, is that 
you know, back when I was getting recruited, right? Recruiting was regional, right? Yeah, exactly. Now there, there's no guidelines, there's no boundaries, there's nothing, right? You know what I'm saying? Of course, with the emergence of social media, like anybody can see these kids, right? right. So these kids don't give a damn where they go to school at because they can get seen anywhere, right? right? And like leaving home ain't shit no more. Like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you know, yeah. of course, there, there was only so many ways to keep in touch with your folks. Now you leave California, go cross country to, to Birmingham, Alabama, to Mobile, Alabama, to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, right? You know what I'm saying? And those are all three places that Alabama plays, by the way. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> it's they go there, they got social media, they got FaceTime, they got all this shit. So it's like they're at home, right? It's yeah. like they never even left their families. And of course, with the way these schools are set up now, the NIL and all this other shit going on. Hey, man, these kids are chilling, and ain't, ain't, ain't no loneliness no more. These kids got well, them dollars to keep them out. Bryce Young is the highest paid NLI, NL, NIL player. He is uh, he was the Heisen Trophy candidate. He's got a Nissan commercial. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Nissan. Right. He's got Dr. Pepper and Nissan. Right. Okay. Those are two major sponsors of college football. And, and well, one, 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 one thing people don't know, Mark, is that when you win the Heisman, you get paid every month. Yeah. For the rest of your life. Yeah. Right, just you get paid. Heisman. I did not know that. See, I'm an expert, yeah. and I had no idea. Yeah, come on, you get, yeah. Yeah. You get, you get paid a certain amount of money every month. I, just, I know for games. the rest of your life for winning the Heisman, right? And certain other certain other awards as well, but the Heisman being one of them. Yeah. Wow. Well, gentlemen, you're you're leading me right to it, and you know, Mark, you talk about the Wild Wild, Wild West, and JB, you talk about like you said, the past being much more regional recruiting, and you've already you've already mentioned it. So now, with how this is not only the realignment, but the emergence of the NIL, and then obviously the the um just the, the use and uh the whole kind of you know deal with the transfer portal right. now that we're seeing this realignment and with the nil mark how do you how do you think that ultimately affects like where kids go how long they stay and ultimately how that even may shake out with even like the transfer portal because a lot of these kids who think there might have been four or five stars like you said coming out of modern days you already know there's a whole list of california quarterbacks who get essentially put on the shelf or that it just doesn't pan out for them like oh, i'm gonna go transfer to colorado state but right. it's like now with the nil it's like how does that affect their brands and how do you think that kind of you know shapes the the landscape with now they had they do like you said they got the ability to pull up on a nissan ultima with the with a, a, a can of dr pepper yeah, like that's what they're doing it, out here. Yeah, no, it's 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 impressive. The the, the thing about NIL that I want to really point out first is first of all, it's always existed. You can tell me that, right? <laughs> you know that, JB. Yes. It's just now it's legal. Wink, wink nudge, nudge. Now it's legal. But the thing is, is there are still teams that are doing it illegally. <clears throat> Miami, <clears throat> Texas. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Don't start shooting it, folks. Yeah, so here's like, the so look. Bro? One thing, Mark. I'm, I'm just gonna cut in real quick. Just yeah, you're right. It did exist. We should call it being on the payroll. Yeah. Right. Right. Th th and it was very hush hush. Right. Yeah. Right. So we were, you know, we had a southern, lowly southern miss. You know, what I'm saying, well, I went to school at a very yeah. low division one school. Now we we was balling when I was at that ball. You know, what I'm saying, but uh, you know, we had you like I'm not gonna say no names, but we had kids on the team whose dad owned fucking 14 car dealerships. There right. You go. There you go. So you think Come we wasn't down. sliding around? You think we wasn't sliding around in new towels out that thing? I've seen Crazy, the uh, right? what, the, what was the movie? Oh man, I can't think of it now. The uh, the uh, Blind Side. I've seen yeah. Blind Side. Yeah, they they kind of leave out the fact that he owned all the Taco Bells in Memphis, and then he right. went to Mississippi. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah. but, uh, but at the same time, also, you know, say like you think about like older movies, like The Program. Right? right, where you know, so they were like literally, like you know, they called it the envelopes. You know, so like they they had yeah. their codes for it. You know, what I'm saying like these kids yeah. been getting paid. I ain't it's gonna start talking. Man. It's called like, dropping I, bags now. Yeah, I ain't gonna start I'm, talking. I'm I, I ain't gonna start talking about you know, saying the visits I took in high school. You know, saying so how they was, you know, right. they was trying to throw yeah, me some so, bread, grease the wheels. So now, but see, I, and, and 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 I've done a lot of research on nil, and so basically the rule is you can't you can't. Even though we know this is this is the new way of cheating, you can't technically give them the deal before they've signed, right? So you can do all these things where they talk, you know, hey, we, if you sign with us, we're going to get you a million dollars from so-and-so, you know, right away. You, but technically, you can't do that, but that's so what, what you, Miami's so, or Texas So what, So what you're saying is, is that the shit that Saban was saying about Dion getting no boy to come over there was totally false. Uh, no. 
I'm oh, saying, okay, what okay, Saban right. was saying, you mean, you mean, no, no, no. So, Saban so, was talking about Texas A&M. No, no, no. So Saban was talking Travis about Hunter, Dion right? when Travis, Travis Hunter, Hunter went to, yeah, went yeah. to Jackson yeah. State, the number right. one receiver in the nation went to Jackson State. Right. He was like, yo, yeah, they offered him a million dollars before he even walked on campus. Right. Yes, they said that. And then also he was talking about Jimbo Fisher and the way they were doing things because right. Texas A&M is a very wealthy, uh, you know, alumni oh, yeah. because very they're all oil barons. Right. And basically they were saying, OK, so they got the number one recruiting class last year. That's because they were doing deals before they were signed. Of course. And then, of course, now the Tennessee quarterback, Nico, he's from California. Nico, I can't say his last name right now, uh, but he's coming over to Tennessee. So you got a Cali kid going to Tennessee all of a sudden. And they were saying he signed an eight million dollar deal just to go to Tennessee. You can't say those things, though. That's where the laws, the law and it's a law. By yeah. the way, because even Congress and your state laws are passing these things, you cannot offer these kids any money before they actually sign their letter intent. But that's what's happening. And so some schools are going to still play, you know, by the rules, eh, you know, and some schools like. You know, Al but for instance, we know Alabama has been doing it for years. We know Georgia has been doing it for years, you know, and there, there was. So let me just tell you from a personal experience with Florida. When I went to Florida, you know, they won national title. Uh, Javon Kirst was one of the best players uh, to have come out of Florida. He was the rookie of the year. He led. He still, I think, holds the rookie sack lead if in the NFL. I, I, you know, he was. He's not allowed back on campus at UF because of all the money he took while he was there. You know what I mean? So they're very strict. At well, Kurt's like fifty. What? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. Well, well, I mean, no, he's my age. I'm I know. I'm, I'm just like, fifty. I'm, just, yeah. I'm forty-two years old, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like Javon Kurt's two years good. older than me. What you mean? Thank you, man. That's yeah, no, nah, Javon's. I think he's younger than me. Javon Kurt is younger than me. So yeah, he's your age, definitely. Oh my uh, god. But yeah, so he played when you played. Uh, but yeah, that's but that, that's what I'm saying. Like there was a certain oh Fred Taylor, I think was part of that group too. Pretty T, yeah, yeah. Well, so, I, I can start naming some cats now. You know, say so y'all had some dogs. Yeah, that was well. Those were our years, man. And they were all you know. And that was the idea. Is but so the, there was a guy named Tank Black who was just giving them cars, giving them money, and it became yeah. the Tank Black scandal. So Florida set this precedent, you know, having compliance early on. So they lost out when Alabama just started dropping bags and Georgia just started dropping bags. They were stealing kids out of Miami to go to Alabama and Georgia because Florida wasn't allowing them to drop bags. You know what I mean? They were like, that's his basic bottom line. And that's why I don't know. In Florida state, Jimbo was the master at dropping bags. He did it at Florida state. Then he took just before they uh, got in trouble, he left him complete cupboard dry. That's why Florida state has sucked for so long. And he went to <laughs> Texas A&M and right. now Jimbo paid for all those players, but he's terrible. He's going to get blown out against Alabama again. They're mm. terrible. They, they were talking about his buyout. If they fired him tomorrow, it'd be $88 million. So you yeah. can't fire Jimbo and he is the most overpaid coach. And, but you know, yep. it's, the NIL is is a, still a crazy, crazy thing. But anyways, because yep. now we're going to these alignment, it, it all goes hand in hand. We're going to alignment, so we're definitely going to have a more pro feeling. Transfers can transfer and change the game. You're going to see smaller schools beat big, you know, larger colleges now. Kind of like what happens in college basketball. Because you're going to see five-star quarterbacks going to smaller schools or like the UCFs now. And they, yep. they're going to go in, they're going to walk in, and they're going to beat an SEC Graduate team. transfers, yeah. yeah. Yep. All, All that, that right? stuff's going to be all happening. That. So it is going to feel Listen. more like pro with a Listen. band. We look, so here's the thing. We got we got free agency with, you know what I'm saying, with all the NIL. That's what it is. Right? The NIL. We got free agency. Free right? agency, yep. We got kids getting paid, right? So amateurism yep. is out the fucking window, right? Uh, and, of course, with the transfer portal, like I said, that's, that's all free agency as well. So, yeah, man. Uh, but just so you know, uh, Mark, I do got. Uh, I did put a hot little twenty dollars on Texas A&M beat Alabama. Uh, it's gonna pay me a nice little two sixty if it happens. Uh, you, you never know. You never know. You never know. Wait, so you're going straight up on that, or are you going? I'm going straight up. up. I'm the going money straight line. Up. I'm going okay. straight up. I'm oh, going straight up. I don't recommend that, but I do recommend anytime Alabama is favored that high against a, uh, an SEC opponent with some like rivalry, I always go with the. 
the the uh, underdog there with the points, yeah. but I don't go straight up. The plus ain't big straight, enough, right? So when yeah, I bet yeah. that plus ain't big enough, you know what I'm saying? So but I'm looking at, let's see, what is the what is the spread here? If I look right up right now, man, you know what? I had it all. Right yeah, here. and and re- and real quick, our our our, our trusty stat correspondent, money making Mitch, hit us. He said it's a still he Javon Kerr still has it with fourteen. He still holds the record. And 14 and and 99. 99. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. One of the greatest yeah. of all time, man. Yeah. But he kind of yeah. fell off because he got injured. But, man, he yeah. they used to call him the freak. And yes, I remember sir. I had class with him. And I know why they call him the freak. Because he was 18 years old and he had arms the size of my head at 18. Nah, he, he, he was like his hands. and like yes, yeah. Javon, Javon came, to, uh, he came to Philly my second year there before I got released. And, of course, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't had no problem blocking him. But that's because I was a dog myself. But he had lost a step. And thank yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, he you was, know what he was, oh man, he played. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He the way they played linebacker. Bob Stoops coached him. The way they played linebacker. I mean, it was an unbeatable. Yeah. But like, yeah, people tend to forget that. You know, what I'm saying Javon Curse wasn't just getting sacks. He was out in the flats covering yep. fucking tight ends. So well, that's how he played in college. So when right. he started yeah. putting the hand down in in the NFL and became a sack leader. Without a doubt. Was, uh, yep. But uh, and, so the the spread on the Alabama Texas A and M. It's at Alabama. Twenty four and a half. Is it twenty four and a half? Twenty four right Mitch. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so perfect. yeah, when you so when you yep. so look, if you're gonna grab it, grab it now, right? Because yeah. Alabama probably won't. If they beat them, look again. If they beat them, I'm I'm the king of upsets now, right? Yeah. So if they beat them with the A and M, it's gonna be some weird shit going on. There's right? no. Sh- yeah. I don't give Bryce, them a shot. Bryce ain't playing. Right? Well, they, he did go to practice today. Okay, so, that's fine. So he went but, to practice. Okay, so, so he, he, he might fuck, play. He, he fuck around and play. Now look, Texas A and M are those slouch. Now their D line is decent. They fuck around and hit his ass. His ass gonna be out again, right? So that's gonna really put a whole little slump in Alabama. So, look, I trust you. Look, I'm gonna shoot you a text and be like, ah, yeah. no, <laughs> spice, spice Adams laugh, ah, right? I, 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 yeah, I gotta disagree. I'm gonna go not so fast, my friend. I just think it's oh, a little well, Corso. Yeah, I'm going Corso. But, you know, hopefully he's feeling all right. I'm going Corso, and I'm I'm saying Alabama. And to be honest, I'm saying they cover. Like that's right. just Ooh, I don't cover. think Texas A and M can right. score at all. Texas, Texas A and M Texas A and M is the most spotty team in the world. Yeah, right. They, so yeah. we don't never know which team gonna show up, right? I've seen the right. games so this is at this is in Bright Denny and, and that's a hundred and three thousand rabbit, you know, elephants, you know, all packed yeah, in yeah, one. Yeah, so I've been, I've, I've, been there, I've, I've been there, brother. I've I've been there, brother. Literally. I've been I've been there, brother. I've been there, brother. Yeah, I've Bryce, been there, brother. Bryce Young day today. Bryce Young day today. All right, let's keep it moving, gents. Uh, college football playoff expansion. Now they're going to move it to twelve teams allegedly in uh, twenty twenty six. So we were talking in our patent and production meeting, as JB illustrated. That's where you're going to have the teams like Notre Dame tripping and falling in the playoff. Or, it's about money, you know. It's about money. So, it's about money. Market now. You know, we're at four. There's been a lot of discussion. People want it six. If people are talking about sixteen, I think sixteen is a bit egregious. I actually I think twelve is probably the sweet spot. But you're the expert. What What do you think as far as the expansion and how many teams do you feel it really should be? Yeah, you know, I I was one of the six guys. I mean, listen, I you know, in the '90s, I was crying for this because I was a Florida fan trying to try to win a national title every year and and knowing that. We had really good teams that we could beat on any given day. And if we just had our chance, we'd win. And, you know, so I've always been an advocate for the playoff. When they when I heard about the playoff coming, I was so excited. And then I heard it was four teams. That made zero sense to me from the beginning. Four teams makes no sense. It's not a true playoff. It never has been. If, if I was an advocate for six, because I did like, I mean, because at the end of the day, having six... Uh, showed that you could get all four, all power five conference winners in and then a wild card. I like that. And then also what you could have done is you could have give the one and twos a week off and let, you know, the, the buy week up. Yeah, give them right, a bye yeah. week NFL, and then NFL let the other two duke yeah. it out and then we go from there and then mm-hmm. we have a chance for some upsets and some exciting times. And, you know, anything can happen at six because – You know, some team gets hot like we see in the NFL all the time. And this is what you're going to see when they go to 12, because this is going to start happening. Team, a team now because of the transfer, because of NIL, a team like Tennessee, let's I'll just bring them up. I hate the balls, but I'll bring them up. A team like Tennessee now might have a chance. They might get hot at the end of the year 
and they go all the way even though they, and win it out now in college it's a lot more difficult to win on the road than it is in the pros for some reason you can i don't know much about the pros i'm not well, an expert well on it's, it's because it's because one they're kids and two you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah. you you have it, it, the faithful is just different, right? Yeah, the pageantry. Yeah, yeah. The, the faithful is just different, right? So again, like I said, these are grown people. These are grown men that yeah. don't give a damn about noise. You know, what I'm saying kids ain't. You know, a lot of these kids come from small schools. They ain't never even seen a hundred three thousand people. You right. know, what I'm saying at any venue in their life. You know, what I'm saying yeah. so. That's what it is. It's just a pressure. Right? I hear you. And so in that case, you know, I do. So, but I'm not, I'm not opposed to 12 because I do like the money situation. And I do like the fact that they're going to do the bye week from what I understand in that situation. Cause I like giving one and twos buys. I mean, they earned it, you know? Yeah. You're in but the buy. Yep. Yeah. So now you're, but you're going to get all the conference championship, <laughs> uh, conference champions in the playoff, which I've always been an advocate for. You know, so that way you can have well, but USC and UCLA were going to the Big Ten anyway, so it's like <laughs> before the Pac-12 was for the, I. It, we'll get to this later of who I think are going to be the Final Four, but the Pac-12 was always getting the shaft out of that sometimes, you know, and 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 rightfully so because who do they play? So I do like this. I think it's going to feel since we're we're paying them now, anyways. Yep. We're allowing them to do free agent deals. Then why not let them duke it out in December and January all the way to the middle of January or February, just like they do in the Super Bowl? Exactly. I, I don't know why you would never do this, because the amount of money you're going to make is out of this world. It'll be just like the, it'll be just like the Super Bowl. Devil's advocate, because these kids got class. Well, I, yeah, but, you know, now that they're paying them, do they really? Oh yeah, they really. They I, still listen, got. They still got to maintain grade point average to stay legal. You know what I'm saying? No, so, I hear you. I I am also an advocate. It's funny because I'll play. Yeah, I'll play devil's advocate too because I I believe in amateurism and I think there's something special and prideful about. Benny, that. How, how many how many times have you heard that word come out of my mouth? Yeah, amateurism, I, right? Yeah. Like these they're kids, right? They're and so bro, one thing yeah. one thing Mark, you know, what I'm saying we I was, like before I even moved back to LA, like these are episodes we we probably talking about. Yeah, thirty episodes back, right? Right. Where I've talked about the fact that there's no way that this is going to work, and it's going to work, and it's going to be progressive because it's going to be unfair to somebody. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And we're going to yeah. see when going forward, we're going to see somebody put a lawsuit out oh, because yeah. they felt like they got wrong because they didn't get an NIL deal because they did a certain amount of work for a team and we never got the recognition for it. We're going to see it happen. Well, right? yeah. yeah, and you can't. And that's gonna be the crash. That's gonna be the crash of the whole NIL shit. As soon as, yeah. soon as there is a flaw, as soon as there's a scratch in that shit, that shit's going away, bro. I'm right. telling but you. But I do see, away. I do see a world now. I, I, I still, I'm a big fan of amateurism. I think that's part of it. The pageantry of college football is part. Of, you know, the SEC. The, the statement here is it just means more. But I do see a world where. It gets so the money gets so out of control with the playoff that they should be able to give it to teams. But the problem is, is you also you, you there's a piece of the pie that can go to the players out of those playoffs. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, we talk about the NCAA here. All right, yeah. they worse. No, they worse. They worse than the NFL. All right. So right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's listen. It, it's 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 gonna be clunky. But to kind of Mark's point from when we were talking about NA on the transfer portal, what I think it's gonna help it in the interim is the transfer portal, where you're gonna have a lot of these four, th even three stars, three, four, five star kids who are going to the bigger name programs, and for whatever reason, whether it was the coach, their ability, their fit at the team, aren't going to have an opportunity to play. And then when they become, they're either gonna transfer or be graduate transfers. Then, like you said, like look, if we're looking, like let's just look at the standings right now. So top 12 is Oregon, Utah, Penn State, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Oklahoma State, SC, Clemson, Michigan, Ohio State, Georgia, Bama, right? So if they, if they were doing the expanded playoff right now, who's to say that with like a, like a, when you have kids like coming in from the transfer portal that might have been recruits for some of those uh, the other teams, now you have the opportunity to say, okay, if you have six conference champions, then six at-large guys, there could be an opportunity for particularly, you know, with what fucking Lane Kiffin talking about Grease and the Wheels is doing mm, down there. There right. could be an opportunity for a team like that to knock, to, 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 to knock yeah. off, you know, a Michigan, a Georgia, or, or, who, or whoever. And, you know, I think it's, it's just going to lend itself to more parity because, you know, Mark, you talk about when you were at school and you talk about like you talk about like 
your team not having the opportunity to play those other teams because of how the media did it with the AP poll. And there's never right. an opportunity to really see who was the best. Yeah. Now, all these kids who would have been buried in a depth chart, like like Lord knows Michigan recruits 8,500 quarterbacks a year, and right. there'll be a bunch of four-star kids who never touch the field. Yeah. Now, that shit's not going to fly. They may transfer to Cincinnati, and yeah. Cincinnati might get in the playoff. And now you're talking about something where they can we, raise their profile we, with NIL. We've seen Cincinnati in the playoffs. It's Final Four. Yeah. Right. Right. Finally. <laughs> Opportunity's well, going to be there. And I'll tell you, the uh, you know when you look at what happened – two teams like Cincinnati, you know, they still made it to the playoff, but, you know, they really couldn't compete. Right. But at the same time, when you, they can't compete with the ones and two, but they can compete with the fours, the fives, the sixes, right. the right. seven and the eights. Right. So yeah. You're still going to have more of a chance to see some really interesting games. Like anyone that says it's going to be a blowout or it's not going to be fun. I'm like, okay, oh, I really don't agree with that. This is football, that. bro. This yeah, is football. Right. And it's going to be, in it college, will, especially in college. Yeah. And, and, and anything, look, there's been a lot of upsets already this year in college, you know, and it's, it's one of those things that I think, as you said, with the transfer sy- system and the transfer portal, you know, I've seen things now that ha- started happening in 2019 that I'd never seen before. Kids would sign early, enroll mm-hmm. early, yep. go to spring practice, yep. and then after spring, they would transfer immediately and then be eligible to play. Yeah. I, have, uh, I mean, where is yeah. that is? What, that, part of the, what part of the game is that? No, you can't do that <laughs> in the NFL. You know, you right, can yeah. trade it. You can go yeah. into the office and say, you better trade me. But, you right, know, right, but right. you no can't way. do right. that. So right. no, that's, no. What's, that's what we're looking at here is like, oh, I see yep. where I am on the depth chart. You know, after spring, even as a freshman, I'm leaving, you know. And right. Then, so, yeah. It's a poison, yeah. man. It's a poison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Either way so it goes, it's a a poison. it's fucked up. They're really yep. – I think the problem – there's going to have to be more – guidelines and and unfortunately you're right the nca you said it you know they're worse than the nfl they're not going to be able to do it you know but if they don't get their if they don't get their shit together you know then you're gonna have just this crazy free-for-all for at least the next 10 years and fella, fellas, here, here's a stat for you. Th- thanks to our guy Mitch. Now, Alabama's never beaten a team in the playoffs they played in the regular season. So <laughs> that is a very interesting. And Mitch, you make a good point. Uh, That's the Georgia, right? They, the, the, yeah, the, the, <laughs> right. The, 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 the conferences <laughs> might might even try to like sue the NCAA and defect and almost become their own kind of organization. Super, well, aligned. SEC wants to do that. Yeah, they well, want to do that. The SEC is already the only thing. You know, yeah. They run shit. They're like yeah. the Jerry Jones. Of motherfucking college football. They are. Their yeah. ESPN deal is ridiculous. Like oh, Disney yeah. now. So now the SEC is owned by Disney. Great. Now I'm there you go. There, there you go. go. Meow. Well, Mark, before before we get out, get you up out of here, we'll focus on the current for this year. And I know you're going to love this segment. This is, this is where you get to gloat and talk your most shit. Oh, yeah. So, most shit. you being the special college football expert. correspondent. Expert. Uh, par- pardon me, expert. expert. Who's expert. real? Next who's E-R. fake in 2022 college football? You're looking at the top. Top four, top ten. Single word. No explanation. Single word. We just yeah. want to know. Fake. Who's real? Who's fake? Shoot right, it. So you, what, do you want to just name a team and then I'll just oh, he, say. He about, he about to give you the teams. Right, Vinny? You, okay, you, want, you want, want me to just teams. say the team? You want me to I'll just name a team? Yeah, give me let a me, team. Let me, throw, let me throw you a team. Oklahoma State. Real. Okay. Real, Why? as in they'll win. They'll win the Big Twelve. Uh, I believe they are the Big Twelve champion. I, I don't believe anyone can compete with them in the Big Twelve this year. I love it. They are okay. very fast at offense and defense. They have a lot of senior leadership, uh, and they got a guy with a mullet who is a who loves his team very much. And he went to Oklahoma State. I think they are the Big Twelve champions. Okay, Kentucky. So real. Uh, fake. Uh, they're about to hit their toughest part of their schedule, and they're going to get exposed. Okay, that there. Okay, uh, hmm. Ole Miss five and zero. Uh, real. Uh, because they have a chance at with Alabama coming there, I believe, to beat them because Lane is. I don't. You just gotta love Lane. I'm gonna go with real. Uh, I'm not saying they're better than Alabama, 
I'm not saying they're better than Georgia, but I do think their 5-0 and is going to do very well. And then, of course, the Egg Bowl at the end of the year with Mississippi State. I think that is going to be dynamite to watch because be Mississippi a knockdown State, drag out, bro. That Mississippi State is real this year. So, yeah. you know, I, yep. yeah. yeah. Going down, uh, let me throw a couple more at you. Down the rankings, Kansas. Fake. Fake. TCU is about yep. to blow them out of their own building Ooh. and show everybody that they're Kansas again. Well, I'm grabbing okay. grab my phone because, you know what I'm saying, I'm, 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 look, I'm, I'm putting bets <laughs> down when you start saying. TCU, real fake. TCU last week really showed how real they are compared to Kansas who, you know, they, they've beaten – They've had some shootouts. I mean, Duke, like, uh, you know, they've put some points on the board. They got a good coach from Buffalo guy, but he's actually – it's funny because he's probably uh, going to ditch him. Favorite. He's going to be Wisconsin's next coach, by the way. He's going to ditch Kansas because he grew up in Madison. So I just think Kansas is fake, uh, and they're going to show that this weekend. All right. And finally, be careful. Mich- Michigan. Michigan. I mean, they're not going to beat Ohio State. So, what do you want me to say? I uh, really, you're really, gonna, you're really going to say in that, like right off the rip. A couple yeah. years ago, yeah, that made complete sense. It's not at home though this year. They had them at home oh. last year. Yeah. So, I, 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 it's hard because I just think Ohio State is still Ohio State. I think they're going to be in the playoff. I don't see it, but you know, hey, if Michigan wins that game, they better not slip up because they're in the playoffs. So it's right, you know, Ohio State, Michigan. I just, you know, prove it to me, Jim Harbaugh. Prove it to me that you got a playoff team. Prove it to me. Okay, you yes. won last year, but it wasn't a playoff team. They had a Big Ten championship team, but it wasn't good enough to be a playoff team. It I, wasn't I'm a with playoff you on that. team. You see what yeah. I'm saying? I'm t- we're talking maybe three. maybe with the addition of these Pac-12 teams, the Big Ten might get a little stronger. U- UCLA and USC are never <laughs> you- listen. To me. USC, I do like Lincoln Ryan. I do. Hey, I don't like him look, let me let me, let me let me tell you something. Yeah. Before you even start talking about that, yeah. USC finna be a fucking powerhouse with that man. Well, uh, yeah. well it, you are you going to ask me who I think are going to be in the playoff this year? Let's well, that's get what we're getting to right okay. now. Yeah, I don't 2022 like 2022 college football playoff predictions. You're you're four in order and why? In order, I have to give you one. All right, so coming in four, at four to one, four to one, do four to one, four to one. Coming in at number four uh, will be, I believe, Georgia. Georgia because four. they will lose. Well, they might be three. Okay, so let's start over. USC will be four from the Pac-12. USC is going in because they are just going to roll through the Pac-12 and not lose to anybody. Uh, Georgia will be three uh, because they are going to lose to Alabama in the SEC championship game. Uh, Clemson will be two because Clemson is going all the way and they will roll through the ACC and they will win the ACC. And Alabama will be one. And this year, when you have Alabama, you will have Alabama going up against Georgia. And this year, it'll be Alabama. I know that's boring, but at least we got Clemson and no, USC in there. <laughs> it's interesting because you don't have Ohio State or Michigan in the playoff. Oh, wait. Uh. I forgot about Ohio State. Oh, for but, God's sake, expert. No, but here's the thing. <laughs> I do. I just think Ohio State. Okay, you're right. Yeah, well, see, here's the is- here's the thing, though, Mark. Here's the thing about Ohio State. They're loaded with talent. You're you're completely right in terms of if you're talking talent versus They're talent. always loaded with talent because they go. To but the thing. here's the thing: Ohio State's good for dropping one against like Purdue or some shit. They might yeah, do something to if, screw over their chances. If they slip up, and if Michigan slips up, like both teams have, then they're not in. But yes, you're right. An undefeated Ohio State goes in. I just think Clemson is is severely severely underrated. They've had the number one recruiting class three years ago, so they're all developed, you know, and I just don't think they're going to play literally anyone. I mean, let's, okay, you should have asked me if Florida State's real or fake because they have a a, a, a one loss oh. team, and but we know they're fake, right? But well, I don't not even rank. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm talking about people who are ranked. They were I ranked. Mean, Florida they State. were. For well, they're not anymore. For right, for a brief second. So, you know, they're, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Clemson, it has no competition. Miami, uh, I don't, you know, but listen, I, you're right. Ohio State, I, I guess in a four, in a four tie, 
I just think USC has this, has this, you know. Because that's my, it's strength the schedule. Like let's let's yeah, just say hypothetically, Oregon Ohio State is in. They got to play Oregon yeah. and Utah to get and UCLA, who is undefeated. UCLA is undefeated. Believe yeah, it or not. UCLA is. You know, I, I could ask you about real or fake, but I mean, let okay, let's say they're hypothetically. Fake. Oh, they're yeah, fake. Well, yeah, yeah, they're 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 not ready. Yet. Um, look, Doctor Bridges, uh, we got to do a quick little recap. So the BG, right? The BG, oh they got the dub against the the Panthers. Um, what 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 do we see? Talk talk to the people real quick about that. The same shit I've been seeing, you know what I'm saying, in our last couple wins, like we should be three and oh, period. It is what it is. Like we should start consistent. We should start fast. We should start furious. Throw the ball down the field. Run the ball when we need to. If we go north and south, we will be okay. Period. But Cliff again continues to try to initiate this college offense into the NFL. The shit don't work. But when we go north and south. We win, right? Period. So just keep fucking going north and south. We saw what happened in the Carolina game. We saw what happened in the Vegas game. We came back and beat their ass. Vance Joseph, keep making great adjustments at halftime, right? JJ Watt, stay healthy. Allen, glad you're back. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody else needs to catch the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be just fine. I believe wholeheartedly we're going to beat the Eagles this week. I do. I believe we're going to beat them. It's going to be a nasty, ugly ass game. And we like that. But we're going to play a full four quarters of football. And I don't think many teams can fuck with us when we play a full four quarters of football. I don't give a damn who called them play, right? That little kid, little bit, little man, little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start calling him little bit. You know what I'm saying? Little bit, number one, this boy can play some ball now. He's a winner, right? He's won every little football he's ever played. He's a winner. We're going to be just fine. But against Carolina, Carolina whack, man. You know what I'm saying? We should have literally beaten to death, honestly. You know what I'm saying? But we struggled because we was bullshitting. But we came back and got our shit together. We won. So it is what it is. Yep. Well, they got the Eagles coming up. It's a big game, a, a must watch game. Huge Anytime, game. Kitty's fellow, the Squawks. Uh, we talked about it, um, you know, a little bit when we were on with our guy, JJ of Sports Town. We'll be sharing that on podcast as well. Listen, man, number one scoring offense, number 32 scoring defense is crazy out of whack. Uh, we got to get that together. Stop blitzing all the damn time. We got the Patriots who are banged up. I'm not sure if Mac Jones is going to play. Winnable game. Uh, the, the Pats are favored there in Foxborough. Um, but the Kitty's just getting too close and no cigar. One and three. They got to get it together. I'm going to keep picking y'all. Yep. I'm going to keep picking y'all. Fuck hey, it. You know we, what I'm saying? Hey, we need it. I, we I believe it. in y'all ass, all right? Every now and then, a fir- uh, every now and then, a squirrel finds a nut. And Mitch says the Lions are the first team in history to score and allow 140 plus points in the first four games. God damn! And All right, bitch. Yep. And then, real quick, before we get into Mitch's segment, and then get into our picks. Uh, Bengals beat the Dolphins 27-15, but that was not the story. Tua gets carted off with a concussion. He he got the concussion initially last week against the Bills. He, they let him back in the game. The independent neurologist by the NFL gets fired. JB, I know it's going to be a, a CBA thing with the NFLPA, but what do you think is going to happen with the concussion protocol moving forward? And what do you think Tua should do? He's probably not going to play this week. So what do you think happens there? Tua needed, first of all, Tua needed to shield for about eight games. Right? Eight games? Tua, okay. Because Tua got – so, man, listen. I played football my whole fucking life, right? I've had concussions. I've had stingers. I've had all that shit. The first week against the Bills that he got hurt, when he got up to walk away and he fucking stumbled, that's not concussion shit. That's spine shit. That means that something is wrong with your spine and something gave out and your legs gave out under you. That ain't your head doing that, right? Second of all, right, he got hit. He got thrown down to the ground and they had to cart him off the field due to what happened to him the week before that they didn't handle properly. So... Uh, Tua, you need to kick back, bro. You need to kick back like six weeks, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you talk to every specialist you can talk to. This is your life, son. You got to live a life after football, right? And I guarantee you, once your football life is over, the, the fucking Dolphins ain't going to give a fuck about you, right? So yeah. just understand that. Take your time. Get your shit right. And that's that, man. Like, you, for you to get caught off the field for getting thrown to the ground? Come on, man. That That's lingering right there. So Buddy getting fired was warranted because he fucked yep. up, yep. right? Just trying to get Tua back on the field because that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? When you're their guy, you're the doctor, you're, you're going to get pressure to get the starting quarterback back on the field. You're going to do that. And as long as he feels okay and he passes certain tests, you're like, ah, yeah, he's straight. Yeah, put him on the field. He good? Nah, that's not it, man. Right. So right. shame on you, Miami Dolphins. Shame on you, guy that got fired. And shame on you, Tua, for not fucking – 
understanding that this is your life outside of football, man. You got fucking a family, bro. Like, chill, man. Yeah, I definitely think it should be longer than a week, and we'll see what happens to the actual <laughs> Dolphins team doctor. But yeah, bottom line business, they're, they're trying to get their you know their their guy back out there. But Teddy, two gloves, can definitely hold it down. In the oh, he can. Time. Just just make so. a plan for him. He should have, look, last week he should have been on the field, period. It should have been no tour. Teddy should have, the plan should have been for Teddy, and that was that. If they'd have did that, they'd have won the game. I believe that shit wholeheartedly. Yep, so there you go. All right, real quick before we make picks, uh, we're bringing back a segment, personal favorite around here to review. We're about a quarter way of the season, so we got to see who's for real, who's fake, in a patented segment that we like to call Too Legit to Quit, baby. That's right, Too Legit to Quit. And, of course, we got to bring in our guy, uh, Money Making Mitch, for that. So, Mitch, you're here. Uh, we got we got four teams that you think are actually good, but people that are actually good, but people think they're bad, and vice versa. So we're starting with the G men who are three and one. Mitch, do you think the the Giants are legit or do they need to quit? What do you think? They need to quit. I think oh. the Giants are overplaying what they are right now. Thank you, JB. This is the first time I want on my side is JB. I right, look. All right, this is one of the first times I saw with you, Mitch. This is great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hell yeah. They need to quit. Fuck them. <laughs> okay. Okay. The Jaguars, two and two. Legit or to quit? Well, I think they need to quit. I don't think they're legit at all. Trevor Lawrence, I just saw him throw five interceptions in a single game. He's still a young quarterback. There's going to be a lot of young mistakes. I think eventually they're legit. Maybe next year, but it's a year too early. Is okay. he the first quarterback you ever seen throw five interceptions in again? No, I'm sure I saw Stafford and Phillips. Oh, okay. Do it. Oh, okay. So, and both of those yeah. young men are revered as future Hall of Famers. Turned out all right. That's fine. How many uh, Super Bowls did they win with their original team? It don't matter. It don't matter. He's been Stafford healthy. played for the kiddies, Mitch. Good he, guy he, almighty. He's been healthy. Screw from right? Jump Street. And he's going to remain to be healthy. So if he goes to – ah, whatever. Again, like, don't, be trying to, don't be trying to defer my question. Uh, he's my. answering my question. All right. All right. <laughs> Spe- speaking of Stafford's new team, Mitch, the Rams, 2-2, two and two, legit or quit? Quit. I think Stafford's too injured like he usually is. I think they're struggling yeah. really bad right now. I think this offense is not what they think it's going to be, and they need to quit. All right. When you're when you're when you're Baltimore, you need to be more careful. The Ravens two when and two. Be more, be more careful. Here is my shocking take of the day. They need to quit. Also, their defense is lower than they normally are. They are all they got is all they got is Lamar. At the end of the day, they're Ooh. not. And they might win their division because, God, they got Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Bengals, who I think are also need to quit. So they might win the division, but they're not legit. So, hold on, before you, before you go any further, right? You're right. Baltimore's defense ain't what it been back in the day, but they're solid, right? And if they had to kick three last game and depend on the defense, they'd have won that fucking game, right? Because your mans would have fucked up. I'm just telling you, bro. So I don't agree with you on this one. Right, and when you oh, say no, all, they got, all, all they got is Lamar, that's bullshit because his supporting cast has been really, really holding him down. Because well, I, ain't think, Andrews, I ain't think they had shit in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? So, Dobbins, Andrews, you know what I'm saying? The young kid 13 been doing his thing, they got weapons, right? And Lamar will make sure that they get with that ball because he can move around so much, it's gonna keep people open. So, yeah, I, I got you. I don't think they need to quit, you know what I'm saying? I think they need okay. to stay legit, right? All right. The Tampa Bay Divorce Court Buccaneers, two and two. I think they're going to end up being legit. I think they're better than people think they are right now. They're very injured on the wide receiver court. It's Tom Brady. He's going to figure it out. I think they're legit. He ain't never had to go through a divorce, man. Not doing a season. He's going to play. He's going to play stronger. He's going to be out for blood. I mean, this dude's beat Father Time already. He's married to football, baby. He's married to it. He's married to the game. Giselle is, Giselle is fucking Antonio Brown, man. Like, come on, man. I thought it was Pete Davidson. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she's fucking a whole bunch of dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, uh, you be real. Like, I'm just being honest. Oh I'm not my god. The pool, guy, the, the, the pool here. guy. The pool guy. The pool guy is getting the most pussy. You know what I'm saying? Because he, you know, he, her last well, spe- lover. <laughs> well, well, speak. Well, speaking speaking of a quarterback making making his claim, it's the Jets two and two. The Jets or quit. I think the Jets are going to be legit. I really do. I have been 
I was down on this team, but they have a lot of talent all over the field. I think they've been drafting good. I like good. Sala, bro. I think I love Sala. I think this is going to be a legit team, and people are sleeping on him right now. All right. The ooh, Niner gang. Ooh, bang, bang, two ooh. two. This is the most boring team I've ever had to say is going to be legit. <laughs> they're going to be, as long as Kittle is alive, breathing, not injured, they're legit. I don't nah, think they win the. I, I don't think I'm they a, win the division. I think I'm they're a, wild card berth, and I think they stand a chance. I'm gonna check you on that. As long as you check, it's living. They're gonna be okay because that's who the offense goes through, right? He go the offense. The whole offense goes to you check, right? So wherever 44 goes, that ball is going somewhere around him, right? So yeah, yeah. And the Kittles is that guy. He he bails him out a lot, but I'm with you. I, you're right. I'm with you on both times. They're not gonna win the division. We gonna win the goddamn division. That's what it is. Way to right. spoil the next team, dang it. Oh, and finally, JB's Cardinals 2-2. Two and two. You're going to agree with me once again, JB, because I got them as legit. I don't care who their coach is. I do think they lose to the Eagles this week. That's where I disagree. They win the next two or three games in a row. But I have them winning next two or three. People are going to start going and ramping up on them all over again because they'll have a winning record. I think they're a legit team. they got a great roster. And again, I appreciate you, Bishop. You know what I'm saying? Because I've said that talent level wise, again, the ta- that's why Cliff got extended. The talent has got him paid. Yeah. Period. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Mitch, hang tight. We're gonna we're gonna bring you back here in just a moment for your Mitch's money making pick of the week. God damn it! But right now, we ain't gonna bury the lead anymore. We got to get into it right now with some Week Five Savage picks. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, 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 pow. All right. It's the Broncos at home. It's a battle of the horses hosting the Colts. And the line is three for Denver at home. Well, if my, my memory serves me correctly about animals, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Bronco, a Bronco is always been stronger than Colt. So I'm going to take the Broncos in this one. Yeah, I'm taking the Broncos as well to get it together and make some plays with against a banged up Colts team. Broncos got to turn around sometime. It's got to start this week. All right. It's the London game. It's the boom, 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 go, Pat, go. Mitch says John Taylor is out for the Colts. Uh, Taking on the G-Men. Not sure if Danny Dimes is going to play. Who the hell is going to play at quarterback? The line is eight for the Packers in London. We don't give a damn. Boom, 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 go, Pack, go. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'm trusting Rodgers to make a better trip uh, than the rest of the G-Men. Danny Danny Dimes Dimes will play. play. Don't matter. Mitch. All right, there you go. All right, it's a dog pound, baby. It's the Browns hosting the Chargers, and the line is three for the Chargers on the road. Cleveland is where they from. White Ducks have none. Listen, hey, they're going to get their boy back this week, right? You know what I'm saying? So Garrett coming back from that car accident, right? I think he's okay. He didn't have no life death injuries. This dude is a freak of nature, right? He'll be back. We already saw the Chargers do some weird shit, right? But against the Browns this week, they're going to lose. Man. All right, I'm going the other way. I'm taking the Chargers. I don't think the Browns can do enough on offense. And I'm going to take the Chargers to get the dub there on the road. All right, black and blue division. It's uh, the Vikings hosting the Bears. And the line is a touchdown for the Vikings at home. i go with that. I got Minnesota. Yep, I'm taking the Vikings as well. We talk about, you know, too legit to quit. I mean, the Bears kind of funny style uh, i think the the vikings have a little bit too much form so i'm taking them as well all right my guys it's your pace dude <laughs> of the kiddies. and the line you want to talk about betting on this jb the line is three for the patriots at home i'm not sure maybe mitch can throw us in the chat if mac jones is going to play they might be down to their backup he had a high ankle sprain benny i'm going to bet that he's not going to play and if he does play he'll be out by the second quarter I'm going with the motherfucking kitties, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, the line is whack. I've already looked at the NFL line, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I wouldn't bet on the game, but I'm just saying, like, I'm going with the kitties on this. Okay. Yeah, of course, to pick their own teams. Kitties are going to do some different things on defense, thank God, and not show blitz as much. Aiden Hutchins is going to get loose on whoever the quarterback is. you got to disguise them blitzes, out. man. Right. Help out the secondary. Shit. And uh, taking the kitties as well. All right. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, Taking in the Dirty Birds, and the line is eight and a half for Tampa at home. Yeah, I'm going to go with Tampa, man. They're going to get back on track, right? Uh, I was bullshitting earlier, you know what I'm saying? But Tom Brady is the ultimate motherfucking competitor. 
right? He don't give a fuck what's going on in his life. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. He is going to show up and show out. And Atlanta's just whack. So, yeah, I think Tampa Bay will be okay. Yeah, Atlanta actually gave the Browns a nice run. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to be inconsistent. And, you know, a hey, TB TB's going to TB, divorce court or not. All right. AFC East at the JTS Jets as Jets against the Finns hosting them. And the line is three for Miami on the road. Being that the Jets are at home, I'm going to go with the Jets, right? Uh, Miami is going to go through a little dead period. You know what I'm saying? I, again, I think Tua needs to fucking kick the fuck back. Uh, but they're going to prepare. It's going to be a long, hard fall game. I think Miami is going to lose it late. But I do think that Miami is going to fare well going forward. But I think the Jets get another win at home. I think the Jets are going to give them hell, but honestly, I have the Dolphins coming in off a bulletin board week, and I think they're ultimately going to get it done with Teddy Two Gloves. Just be be too much. Two with Waddle, gloves. And, uh, two gloves with you know Waddle Hill and, and you know all them boys. So I'm taking the Dolphins there to get a uh, a road win. All right, it's Commanders against Mitch's Titans are hosting them, and the line is two and a half for Tennessee uh, on the road. There you go. Tighten up, Titans. All right. Yep. Commanders are wiggity, 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 whack. <laughs> Word to crisscross. I'm taking Word the Titans to crisscross. as well. All right. It's that big gumbo bowl, baby. Mitch says the Titans have a lot of injuries, but, hey, I'm still taking them over the Commanders. Um, all right. It's the Saints hosting the Squawks, and the line is five and a half for the Saints at home. Jameis. Hmm. You hear that motherfucking trumpet, baby. You know what time it is. Uh, yeah, stand up and get crunk. All right, I got to do all the same. Yeah, I'm taking the Saints as well. I mean, you know, the, the Seahawks have actually been playing decent ball, but I think the Saints are going to have too much offense for them for them to keep up. I don't know about the line, to be honest, but uh, I'm definitely going to take the Saints as well. All right, it's the m- 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 Mafia, Mafia. It's the Bills hosting the Steelers, and the line is uh, two touchdowns for the Bills at home. Man, that's a little eyebrow raising. I wouldn't take the line. But I will take the Bills because well, the Steelers got some shit going on right now. Yeah. Uh, that's not to say they're not going to get it going later. Second half, they're going to go crazy. But right now, I think the Bills are going to take care of that business. Yeah, I'm taking the Bills as well. I don't know about the line, but I definitely think it's going to be a bit too much for them. Uh, Kenny Pickett, as Mitch mentions, is probably going to get the start. So he's going to get you know some trial by fire. So we're going to see how young Kenny Pickett does. Um, all right. AFC South matchup. It's the Jags. Duval. One of the H Town coming down. Well, they're hosting the H Town coming down, and the line is a touchdown for the Jaguars at home. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take Duval at the crib. You know that. Yeah, I'm taking the Jaguars as well, bouncing back a little bit from some from hiccups last week. Texans are just, hey man, Texans are just. They, 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 it's tough sledding for them. They they're they're going to be hard pressed to really win any games this year. So uh, I'm taking the uh, Jaguars as well. All right, it's the Baker Mayfield Panthers, your former employer, hosting the ooh 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 gang, and the line is six and a half for Frisco on the road. So here here's a wild pick for you, right? Uh, the Panthers are going to come back and win this game, right? At home. <laughs> At home, right? Uh, they're going to exploit Jimmy G. We know Jimmy G's not the guy. We know that, right? The Panthers are now beat up. They're just not a very good football team. You know, and I think they'll learn from our film, and they'll watch the film playing against L.A. and see the things they did well. Right? D'Amico Ryan is a great defensive coordinator, but I do think that Baker Mayfield comes back on that I'm not a bad chip and fucking go crazy and – they're going to fuck around and win this game. It's going to be ugly as shit, and they're going to win it. We talk about not that guy. I'm taking the Niners. Now they're going to hit their stride <laughs> with Jimmy. Is it going to be dynamic over the top? No, but you know what you get with this team when you have Jimmy. It's a team that can go to the NFC Championship, and I love how they're moving Debo around the field. You, to the two he, did that. He, he did that with him, too. Yep, Ayuk. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm liking the Niners here on the road. All right. You know this game's going to be packed with Cowboys fans, JB. It's the Rams hosting the Bing, top of the Cowgirls, I mean, them Cowboys, and the line is four and a half for the Rams at home. You know what? I'm going to go with the Rams on this one, right? Uh, so I'm, I'm going to predict this, Benny. Um, there will be three, three, and one teams after this week in, in the NFC West, and Seattle won't be one of them, right? Uh, so Los Angeles Rams are going to get the win. Um, Cooper Rush, congratulations. You had a little run. You had a start when you st- had a spot when you started, but now he's just garbage. It's on the way. Right, because your film is out there now. They see what you do well, 
And guess what? Your offensive line is trash. That garbage juice and that boy number 99 is going to go crazy. Yeah, I got the Rams on this one. Yeah, Rams got embarrassed on national television. I don't care. It's going to be like a quasi-Cowboys uh, mm-hmm. home game. Cooper mm-hmm. Rush, the Cooper Rush fantasy is going to come to an end, and uh, the Rams are going to get it right and and do make enough adjustments to get the dub at home. All right, this is probably this might be the game of the week. It's it's the Burr Gang against the E A G L E S Eagles, and the line is five for the Eagles in Arizona. The fact that the line is five for the Eagles in Arizona lets me know that Vegas don't really fucking trust Philly, right? So, I'm just telling people like this, right? If we play four quarters of football, we will beat Philly. Period. We're going to lose one quarter, right? We're going to lose one quarter. So, we're going to play three or one quarter-wise, and it's going to get us a W. I'm not going to say how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. Bird gang all day. Okay. The BG, they are... God, the BG, the BG and and home man. What what's really good with the BG and home? Are they are oh, they? It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of green. It's gonna be a lot of green jerseys there, but it's gonna yeah. be one man that's gonna be there. This guy, right? I'll be right there as an ambassador. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully I'll bring him some good luck. But either way, go. The train stops right here. They'll be four and one after this week. Well. I'm going to respectfully disagree. I think the Eagles are going to go in there and get it done and control the line of scrimmage. I think it's going to be mistakes. It's either a K1 mistake or a Cliff not passing the sticks mistake that's going to cost. I think it's going to be a great game. I think they're going to give them hell. And, uh, you know, hey, Dr. Bridges, maybe you're going to be able to float over to the other sideline and, and get yourself a J-O-B with your, with your draft. Uh, who, who knows? Who knows? Right? Who knows? <laughs> so I'm taking the, uh, the Eagles. All right. When you're Baltimore, you got to be more careful. Quote the Raven Evermore. They're hosting the Bungles, and the line is three for the Ravens at home. I've already said it, Baltimore. Yep. I am taking the Ravens as well. They're going to do some more improved things here uh, on defense. And finally, oh, it's the Chiefs. i got to get the music right. The Chiefs Kingdom hosting the Raiders. <laughs> the Raiders. <laughs> I'm actually shocked that it's not more, JB. The line is a touchdown for the Chiefs at home. So here's the thing, man. Chiefs going to win, of course. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? It's a night game. It's Monday Night Football. It's going to be crazy. They might even, you know what I'm saying, hit some Richter scales. But the Raiders just ain't it, man. They're just not. And Kansas City at home, hmm. they don't lose very often there. Yeah. Yeah, Chiefs are definitely going to show out in this game. The Raiders are going to struggle and make some mistakes. So I am taking the Chiefs as well. And that's it. We will see who is right, who is wrong, who is both right, who is both wrong. JB, I know. I know we were talking about college football. You and Mark, you, we're going back and forth. We, we went a little long. I want to get us out of here. But damn it, we did the damn thing. We had a great episode. We'll see who's right, who's wrong, who's both right, who's both wrong. But if we're going to get out of here some wise words for the reviewers and a little we need us my friend what you got well uh guys please and thank you for just loving each other uh understand this man um we can't control a lot of things in life but we can control how we treat the motherfucker that we see face to face every day right uh understand this we all bleed red blood and we all pump blue blood right we all have a heart we all have lungs we all have a dick and ass we all have a pussy and ass we all have titties <laughs> Right, we are all human beings. We did forget about Mitch's money making pick. Of the week. Oh yes, real quick, Mitch's money making right. pick of the but week. We'll that talk, is the yeah. Giants seven and a half against the Packers. But continue, yeah. continue. Take that, you know what I'm saying? Take that, take that. In the words of Diddy, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Just love thy neighbor like you would love thyself. I like to go a step further and say, love thy neighbor like you would want someone to love your fucking children, right? Because we as adults can take a bunch of shit, but kids can't. Right, so love motherfuckers the way you want them to love your kids, right? Other than that, man, this has been the JB and Benny Blue Review, man. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all hit us up on all social media platforms at JB and Benny Blue. All right, we'll get back with you, YouTube, all that shit. Subscribe, like, we appreciate it. Hit us up on our personal Instagrams, 73KingJB73, and of course, at Benny Blue Eyes, who it's always been. All right, we will get back with you, you know what I'm saying? Talk a little shit. You still want to hear our melodious voices? Give us a high dollar, you know what I'm saying? Patreon.com. Slash JB and Benny Blue. You know what I'm saying? You can get all episodes uh right then and there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The Burning Bridge podcast live streams. That's my other podcast. All right, Tuesday nights. You know what I'm saying? We had a little bye week. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Johnny and his wife. Happy anniversary, you know what I'm saying? The AAT Sports underscore and at AAT 
uh, Birds, that's on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the yeah. Birds family. You know what I'm saying? Sponsors, interviews, new music, hate mail, whatever. Don't matter. Hit us up, jbnbreview.com. We'll get back with you as soon as we can. All right? Amazing. Yeah, man. Episode 232. Yeah. We did the we damn out. thing. We talked we about out. a lot. We'll we out. Next week. <laughs> We're out. Mark, appreciate you, baby. Peace. Mark, we love you. Peace out, everybody.